So let's see a really common application of using a dictionary, and you can already sort of get the idea, uh, something known as getting word frequencies. Let's imagine I have some file. Now, in our case, I'm using a text file. I'm using Alice in Wonderland uh, from Project Gutenberg. And as you can see, it's literally just the entire structure of Alice in Wonderland in a text file. Now, the entire idea is maybe I want to look at this and say, well, how many times does the word Alice appear in uh, this file? And so how would I go about doing that? Well, it's a lot of words and a lot of text, but that's where, you know, coding can do things for us. And so just to walk through a few different things, you may have noticed that the uh, list entries had a lot of punctuations attached to them. So uh, just even here, book. Book has a comma to it. There's question marks. And maybe I don't, you know, when I'm looking for uh, how many times the word her appears, I don't want her and her period to be separate values. So the first thing I just have here is just a quick little uh, function that is going to look at a string and then uh, utilizing string.punctuation, which just has a list of all the punctuation characters uh, in Python, just to even see that in action. So rent uh, punctuation. You can see that that's all of the different characters uh, inside of just punctuation. I don't want to uh, use any of those uh, or consider them in my word frequency. So what I'm doing is for each one of those characters, go into our particular line and simply replace that character with a blank string. So effectively get rid of all the punctuation. Fair enough. So with that, then I'm just doing some referencing to my file. And again, we have the relative file path structure going on here where I say go up a directory and I happen to have another folder beside my directory called data. And then there is a text file called Alice in Wonderland there. And again, that's exactly, there's the data, there's the Alice in Wonderland. Then I am establishing a, an empty dictionary that I'm calling word count. And the entire idea is every time I see a word, if that word doesn't exist in my dictionary, create a new entry and then add to it. So let's kind of walk through that. So again, I'm opening up and just to sort of see this in action. And in fact, let me clear the results so you don't uh, get to see everything right away. So I've loaded in that function into memory. I've Establish that I have two variables, a file path and a word count. And now just to look at sort of my file processing. So once again, we're using the with command to establish, oh, well, with this file being open, let's call that file or the contents of that file fi. Okay. Then for each line inside of fi, because again, as you can kind of see with Alice going on here, there's multiple lines going on. So this is one line, this is one line, this is one line, there's multiple lines. So for each one of those lines, the first thing I wanna do is convert all of the punctuations into blank spots. So once again, uh, for just here, I wanna get rid of that uh, comma and then that colon, okay? Then I'm going to say, well, now that I've gotten all rid of it and I'm just dealing with words, split those words up based on a space. Separate them out into individual words in a list. Because when I've done that, now I can traverse that list of words. So for every word inside of a particular line of text, so in this case, for every single word on this line without the punctuation, so bank, and, of, having, nothing, to, do, etc. Every single one of those words, uh, I am just doing a little bit of cheating and making everything lowercase. That's mostly just uh, a little more, you know, cleaning up. So, you know, the difference between uh, Wonderland here, where it's all caps, and then if there's another, you know, time where we see uh, Wonderland and it's, you know, only one capital letter, they are considered the same. So I'm just kind of doing some little parsing there. 
And then as you can see in the comment, what I'm saying here is, okay, let me take a look into my dictionary. Let me look in word count. If the particular word I am dealing with is not in that dictionary, make it. So again, I'm just using line 10 as my uh, point of reference. This is the first time bank is being shown or read or you know, processed uh, by the Python file. Bank is not in the dictionary. So create a new entry for bank and set it equal to zero. And the reason why is because right after you do this, look up the value at a particular uh, key, in this case bank, and add one to it. So I'm just going in and saying, all right, well, go through, look at it, uh, each word, and then if you don't see that word, make, make it exist. And if you do see that word, add one to it. Aha, so no crashing, so that means it worked. And so then just the, the last little bit that I've got going on here for right now is uh, take the top 10 uh, in no particular order, just take the first words of the dictionary, uh, first 10 words of our dictionary, and show me what their count is. Or sorry, just show me them. So Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Lewis Carroll, the Millennium Fulcrum uh, edition. So we're just seeing all of those words. And you may notice that there is no particular order to the dictionary entries, uh, because as you can see, Wonderland is appearing before Carol uh, and whatnot. That's perfectly fine. We'll get to that a little bit. But again, we're just looking to uh, see what we can do and convert these into uh, getting counts for each one. Ah, so we've gotten word frequency counts. Alice's appears 12 times. And again, we remove the apostrophe. So, you know, you can assume uh, adventures six times in. It's a very common word. So it appears 366 times. The super common word so it is appearing uh, over 1500 times but you can start to go through and you can see oh well here's how i can get the frequencies there is a problem one of the issues with a dictionary is there's no established order as you can see the even though we see it you know it's even though it has a large number we don't know if it's the largest number and then you've got you know addition only appears once but there may be other words that are a lot and there is no fancy, uh, quick way to convert a dictionary into a sorted list. Uh, but through the power of the internet, you know, you can find very quick ways to do that sorting process. And they start by converting a dictionary into a list of tupled values. Tuples are just uh, very short, unchangeable lists. And so in this case, let's say, for example, I want to take my word list. It's just another dictionary going on here. But I want to take a dictionary and turn it into a sorted list of tuples, sorted lists of lists. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm creating a sorted list or I'm creating a blank list. And then going through every entry in the dictionary. Again, it is called a key uh, or give me the key for every entry in the dictionary. So every single one of the words in my dictionary. And then all I want to do, nothing terribly crazy, nothing terribly fancy. I just want to add them. Uh, I want to add the count and then the key in that order specifically, the count and then the key uh, to my empty list. Okay, fair enough. Then I'm going to utilize some of Python's internal functions. So in this case, there is something called sorted. And what sorted does is it looks at a list and sorts it. Now, the last little piece here is some of Python's witchcraft, black magic. Uh, no one knows how it actually works, but it does us thing. The entire idea here is we're going to utilize list slicing. And very specifically, if you use uh, the colon colon negative one, uh, what that actually will do is reverse the order of the list. So if we think about what I've just done, sort the words or sort our list. Now, again, that is going to uh, make things that are one 
you know, uh, edition one, uh, millennium one, Lewis one, Carol one, those entries currently sit at the very top of our list. This is just saying, put them on the bottom, which conversely is going to put whatever the largest word numbers are at the top. So we've sort of sorted, ordered in a descending order. Awesome. So now we can take that same traversal approach. I can go in and say, it will give me uh, the top words, and I'm using just 10 here because there are a lot of words, but give me the top 10 words uh, in the Alice in Wonderland.txt file. For each one of those words, we're going to extract out the count and the word, and then just print them out. So uh, let me see where I left off. So let's load the function into memory. And then let's see what the top 10 words of Alice in Wonderland are. The, as we expected, and to a she, it, of, said, I, Alice. You know, what you would expect, a lot of very common uh, filler words and articles. But as you can see, once again, we can see uh, here's how we can get not only the word frequencies, but then how to sort those word frequencies uh, into most commonly used words.